What's up, everyone? Welcome to this edition of From Around the World Fridays, uh, part two of uh, postcards. So um, we'll jump into it here, and I hope you guys enjoy all the postcards I have to share. So first, let's start with this one, which I've um, <laughs> a lot of people uh, usually like this one uh, the most. Um, but this is from the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. Um, I had the amazing opportunity um, while I was studying abroad in Australia to um, get to go swim in the Great Barrier Reef and snorkel and um, got to see a bunch of a uh, bunch of different fish and um, got to snorkel with a turtle. So that was a ton of fun and I'm really glad that I, I got to go to one of this one of the most amazing places on the planet. So um, that was a ton of fun. And then we have Rotorua here. Uh, Rotorua, this is in New Zealand, um, beautiful area. Um, if you've listened to my New Zealand uh, episode of my podcast, uh, this is the a town that I mentioned. Um, this is the end of one of the bus tours, and it's where um, I got to do the haka with the with the Maori men uh, or the Maori men. So, um, really love this place as well. And this is in Tasmania. Oh man. Uh, good memories that are coming back looking at these. Um, Australia's oldest bridge. Um, I got to go, um, didn't get to stand on it, but went and took a picture of it and everything. Um, but this was on Tasmania, which is at the very south. It's, it's an island um, south of Australia. And uh, yeah, it was amazing to be there. Beautiful place. And it's pretty crazy to, to know. So I was in Hobart, Tasmania which is at the south end of that island. And it's kind of crazy to look out um, on the water and see that there is no land until you get to Antarctica. That's the next piece of land if you kept going straight. So um, pretty wild. And now we're back stateside here with this one, uh, San Francisco. Um, I've had the opportunity to travel to San Francisco multiple times and really enjoyed uh, my time there, lots of beautiful sights, lots of iconic things to see there. Um, yeah, beautiful place. And back to New Zealand, Wellington, this is the capital of New Zealand. You got the beehive over here, that's where the parliament sits. Um, I actually took this, uh, this little like tram or trolley up, um, up the, the hill there in Wellington. And at the top of the hill, you can basically look over all of Wellington and it's, it's a really beautiful sight to see, um, definitely worth taking. Uh, and Wellington's just a beautiful city, um, so I definitely recommend checking that out. And then, oh, we got the Hoover Dam here. Um, got to go to the Hoover Dam on my 21st birthday, um, or maybe the day after my 21st birthday, but um, nonetheless, got to take a tour, go inside, um, took a picture from inside the dam there, um, which I have somewhere, but. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful place. Um, a feat of engineering, to say the least. Um, definitely recommend taking the tour of it. I, it if you're claustrophobic, maybe not the best uh, tour for you, but um, it's pretty amazing to see all the work that went into it. So, Hoover Dam there. Ah, one of the most iconic things that I've seen. Um, this is in Tart 2, Estonia. Um, so I got to study here for a few days in Estonia. There's a school not too far away from where this uh, this statue is. Um, but this is in the main square um, there in Tartu. And uh, it's the, the lovers kissing there. Um, it's a beautiful area, beautiful buildings behind it, as you can see. And uh, yeah, just, uh, <laughs> just a fun sight. I have lots of uh, magnets and different uh, souvenirs with this picture on it so um yeah beautiful and back to san francisco obviously these are not all in order so i apologize um san francisco they got the golden gate bridge there um yeah pretty amazing and lombard loop <laughs> uh the windiest street uh, that you can imagine um i walked up and down this a couple times over my travels to san francisco and it's fun to watch the cars go up and down. It's a beautiful street and not one that I'd really enjoy driving on, but definitely worth seeing. 
And now we got Crater Lake National Park in Oregon. Crater Lake is beautiful. Um, I've been to it a couple times and it's just, it's an amazing place. Uh, definitely a unique landscape and worth checking out for sure. And Sullivan, California, a little Danish town um, in California. Um, again, really beautiful. Lots of little shops in these buildings. Um, you can kind of explore the Danish heritage, which um, I am part Danish, and that's where my last name comes from. Um, it's actually really fun. There's a store there called Rasmussen's. Um, it's a souvenir shop, gift shop, um, but it's named after uh, my last name, which is a common Danish name, so um, kind of cool to see that as well. And back to San Francisco here, it looks like fireworks in the bay, you got the Golden Gate Bridge, the Transamerica period, uh, Pyramid there, um, but yeah, beautiful. Ah, and then we're moving on to Fiji, I love Fiji, <laughs> um, Fiji was such a good time. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's a South Coast sunset, um, in Fiji. Um, yeah, I had so much fun while I was there. It's such a good place. And we got Yuma, Arizona. Um, got to spend a couple of days here on multiple occasions. Um, a unique landscape, unique history. Um, yeah, Yuma, it's beautiful. <laughs> uh, another one there of Yuma. And we got the Mojave uh, National Preserve. I drove through here, uh, spent a little bit of time um, on my travels through California. Um, pretty barren landscape, but um, I think it's beautiful because of that. So um, definitely worth driving through for sure. And we got the Mob Museum in Las Vegas. Uh, I So I am interested in, in mob history and stuff like that. Um, you know, Vegas is notorious for that sort of stuff, um, back in the day, uh, wasn't really sure what to expect with this museum, but it was awesome. Um, even my mom, who's not really into this sort of stuff, she loved it. Um, so I, I recommend this to anyone who's going to Las Vegas. If you want to do something that's, uh, you know, not gambling or something like that, um, definitely go check this out. It's super interesting, really fascinating and definitely worth, worth your time. And it looks like we got uh, Helsinki here. Um, this is a church um, in the middle there. Um, I got to go inside there. It's kind of built into the rock there. Um, but yeah, beautiful place. Um, I loved Helsinki as well. And we're back to Tartu, Estonia. Ah, such a beautiful place. Really loved being there. I was there in the winter, so it did not look like this. Um, but it was really beautiful. And, oh, yes, now we're getting into some fun ones here. Um, St. Petersburg, Russia. So um, I really love my time in St. Petersburg. Um, this is right outside the Hermitage uh, or the Winter Palace. Um, such unique history. The Russian history is so fascinating and really, really sad, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, what an, what an amazing place to be. And then we got Catherine's Palace here. I got to go inside here and tour the palace. Definitely way over the top. Uh, very beautiful, very ornate. Um, they have a room called the Amber Room, which is totally made out of amber. Um, worth checking out if you're ever in St. Petersburg. In Tallinn, Estonia. Uh, this is the old city. Um, again, really beautiful. Uh, very medieval-esque. Um, had such a fun time there. I really, I really enjoyed that whole trip going to uh, Finland, Estonia, and Russia. Um, such a unique part of the world, and so many beautiful things to see there. And speaking of another beautiful place, um, somewhere that's naturally beautiful, uh, Big Sky Country, Montana. Uh, Montana, I love Montana. I think it's one of the most beautiful states in the in the U.S. Um, yeah, you get amazing suns like, sunsets like this when you're there, so um, definitely check that out. Um, you also get views like this, so um, again, beautiful as well. 
Uh, there's so much natural beauty in Montana. And you got Butte, Montana. Um, got to spend some time here. Um, we had a family reunion nearby. Um, we went into the mine shaft, which is underneath this thing or close to this. Um, really unique history. I, I really enjoyed learning a little bit about the mines. And uh, yeah, interesting little town. Oh, there we go. There's the it's the World Museum of Mining. That's what we went to. Um, got to go down in the mine shaft and explore underground there for a little bit. Um, yeah, pretty uh, interesting. And now we're at Hong Kong. Um, ah, man. <laughs> these are such good memories that are coming back because of these. Um, I love my time in Hong Kong. It was very short, but uh, very memorable. What a beautiful city. Um, definitely the opposite of Montana. Um, it is beautiful with all the skyscrapers, everybody living right on top of each other. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's totally different from a place like Montana, but it's beautiful in its, in its own way and uh, definitely a place to, to go check out. And there's another view of it as well. Um, that's what it looked like at, at nights for sure. That's a good good representation of it. And we got Taipei, Taiwan. Uh, there's the Taipei 101 building. Um, again, love my time in Taiwan. Very beautiful, uh, beautiful place. And um, I really love Taipei. I did this little hike, um, which I think is kind of where this picture is taken. Um, you can do this little hike inside the city and you got the Taipei 101 building. You got a nice view of um, of Taipei uh, when you do that hike. So there's that. Uh, Malaysia, um, another beautiful place in Southeast Asia. Um, you got the Petronas Towers there. Um, I stood right underneath them and took a picture. Um, pretty beautiful. Um, I love my time in Malaysia. There's a lot of interesting things to see, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, worth checking out for sure. And adding on to that, we got Singapore here, um, another beautiful city, another beautiful country. Um, loved it. One of my favorite moments was actually uh, standing on the top of this little building on the left. Uh, this is a hotel, and um, on the top there's a rooftop bar. It's on the far end of this in this picture. Um, but I went up there at night and um, had a couple drinks and just looked out over this beautiful city in this beautiful country and that was one of my favorite moments i've ever had traveling so um if you're ever there you have to do that now we're on to jakarta uh, indonesia um, where there's the lar largest mosque in southeast asia i actually went to this mosque um it was amazing to see i really liked my tour of it um such a unique place and this place <laughs> this is a little bit off topic but if you're ever driving here my god it's the craziest place i've ever seen for driving i'm so glad i didn't drive here um it's insane absolutely insane but um i really enjoyed my time in jakarta it was a ton of fun um then australia so sydney i spent a semester here in sydney uh, this is in Darling Harbor here, looking at the uh, the Opera House and the bridge there. Um, a lot of amazing sunsets like this for sure. So many great memories of Australia. There's another image of Sydney as well. Um, again, really beautiful. And another one of Sydney. Ah, so much fun. I had so much fun being there. Um, so many great things to explore. And this is in the Blue Mountains, um, <clears throat> which I went out to the Blue Mountains, which is, I think that was like a couple hours outside of Sydney. Um, but you get up into the mountains and uh, you can take, you know, one of those trolleys or um, these things up to the top of the mountain. Um, you can take the, the cable car here across, uh, which is beautiful as well. Um, and then, yeah, you just get amazing views like this a lot. So... Um, I really enjoyed it. Actually, that was the first time I had kangaroo was when I went to the Blue Mountains. Uh, we stopped at this diner or this little town and I went to this diner and I had a kangaroo burger, uh, which was actually really, really good. Um, I really enjoyed that and would definitely have it again. 
And again, more more views there. And the Art Gallery of New South Wales, I, I went through here one day, um, enjoyed seeing all the, all the amazing art. Um, yeah, lots of amazing things to see in there. And it's right, right, uh, pretty close to uh, the Opera House. So if you want to walk, have a nice walk, you can go through there and then go down to the Opera House as well. And the Shrine of Remembrance, I believe this was in Melbourne. Yes, Melbourne. Um, walk through here as a remembrance for all of the Australian soldiers who have fought in all the wars over the, over the years. Um, just kind of a, a tribute to them. And then some views of Melbourne. I really enjoyed Melbourne. Wish I could have spent more time there. Um, very different city from Sydney, I think. Uh, much more European style. Um, but had a lot of great things and I really enjoyed uh, my time there. And stayed in, in an amazing hostel there that had a movie theater inside of it. Um, so that was pretty cool too. And the Twelve Apostles, one of the great sights to see in the world. Um, hopefully see them before these actually disappear into the ocean, which they will someday. Um, but went along the Great Ocean Road um, along the south coast of Australia. And I got to stand here basically in the same spot that this picture was taken and take a lot of similar pictures as this. Um, really beautiful uh, and a unique spot of the world for sure. All right. We got... Uh, <laughs> I got this um, after bungee jumping, so kind of hard to see here, but uh, right up here, um, so this is uh, the bridge that you're jumping off of. This is like the first place in the world where bungee jumping became a thing, and um, I actually jumped off of right there, jumped down, you could almost touch the water there, and then you ultimately end up getting into the little raft there, and they unharness you, and then you climb up back to the building there, but... Um, that was so much fun. Uh, I have that video that I can post as well. Um, but yeah, that was a fun memory. I don't, I don't know if I'd want to do it again, but it was a ton of fun and, uh, a, a fun story to tell my parents after the fact. So there you go. And, oh, one of the most unique things I've ever seen. Um, there's only a few places in the world where you can actually see these glowworms. But I went to the glowworm grotto, or the um, went to see the glowworms in Waitomo Caves in New Zealand um, on the North Island. Um, this is really what it looks like inside there. It looks like the night sky uh, with the stars twinkling. Um, very unique to say the least. You're in these caverns, you're in a little boat, and you just see all these lights, uh, which is amazing. Um, but this is what they look like when it's light in there. So they're just long strands of, <laughs> uh, these are living worms uh, that live in these caverns, um, but they're bioluminescent, so they glow like this. But anyways, that was an amazing thing to see, for sure. And got another picture of Wellington there, Wellington at night. Um, Christchurch, New Zealand on the South Island. Um, I, I wish I had, would have spent more time here. It was a beautiful little city. Um, there's actually a ton of things to do there. And I got to do some of the things that are in these pictures. But um, unique city with a lot of unique history. And unfortunately, they've had a lot of natural disasters. Um, but they've found ways around it. Like building these this mall out of shipping containers. So lots of interesting stuff there. And this is on the South Island as well. Uh, Lake Takapo, um, up in the middle of the South Island. Uh, such a beautiful landscape. Everyone asks why New Zealand is my favorite country. Well, this is one of the many reasons. Um, beautiful, beautiful landscape. And then even more, more beautiful, here's uh, Mount Cook, uh, the tallest mountain in New Zealand. Um, I mean, you had you had this views. You also had the beach. You had all sorts of stuff in New Zealand, and uh, yeah, one of the many reasons why I enjoyed it. There's another view. I got to see basically the same exact view. Um, so beautiful, um, but Mount Cook's on the South Island of New Zealand. 
another view of it there again beautiful <laughs> i can't even describe how beautiful it was and then we get down to queenstown uh queenstown new zealand this is where i did the bungee jumping the bungee jumping was just outside of there but queenstown is another beautiful city this is my final stop in new zealand and um yeah amazing little city definitely easy to walk around and just enjoy the nice scenery um yeah beautiful place could definitely see myself spending a lot more time there and another picture of new zealand again more beautiful landscape same here more beautiful landscape in new zealand um do, do, do. this is sir edmund hillary the first person to ever climb mount everest and that's him looking out at mount cook um, so i stood here and took basically the same picture um but he uh climbed mount cook to train for mount everest so there you go another mount cook picture there then we head up to Cairns. um this is where i went out into the great barrier reef um very uh very tropical um little town uh <laughs> the there was bats that lived in the trees all around the town and they came out um at dusk and it was the craziest thing to see so definitely recommend checking that out for sure and great barrier reef uh green island that's where i went out to and then went uh snorkeling out out here around the island um and, and got to snorkel with the turtles and all, all that stuff but um such a beautiful place and we're back to Richmond, this is the oldest bridge here, um, back on Tasmania. Again, beautiful. Another picture of Tasmania, got to see the Tasmanian Devil, that's what these things are. Ugly little creatures that will rip you to shreds if, <laughs> if they had the chance. Um, but that was a ton of fun, got to pet, uh, or got to feed some kangaroos and pet a koala and do all sorts of stuff when I was there. There's the Tasmanian Devil as well. Um, yeah, they are ugly little things. <laughs> uh, with bad, they make a bad screech, and uh, their teeth are insanely strong, so they can rip through bone essentially. So don't mess with them. <laughs> More pictures of Tasmania there. Hobart, Tasmania. That's the town that I was in most of the time when I was there. Um, cool little town right on the water there. And back to Fiji. And uh, I'm going to end it with this one. Uh, we'll do the rest of, of these cards later. Since we are uh, at 23 minutes here. But I'll leave it with a sunset here. Um, I really enjoyed seeing the sunsets in Fiji. I stayed in a hostel right on the beach. And the sunset right over the bay. And it was, <laughs> it was amazing to see. Um, and yeah, I got to kayak right out here on the bay. But uh, yeah, mem memories I will never forget. That's for sure. So um, I hope you enjoyed this edition of uh, the postcards and from Around the World Fridays. Um, as you can kind of see around the circle here, I have a lot more to go. So there will be more parts to this, but um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed these beautiful, uh, beautiful sights, uh, beautiful scenery, and uh, we'll see you all next time. So keep traveling, everyone. <laughs>